What's going on everybody? I uh, had to replace the uh, two batteries on my uh, truck res recently and I was in a hurry, didn't have time to uh, to really look at the batteries when I picked them up and uh, when I got home I realized they were the maintenance free type and um, this one over here you can see how it's got a sticker over it and I could tell just by looking at the sticker that they're you know, it felt like there was these uh, caps that were kind of hidden under here. And uh, so I had been looking online at uh, for anybody to kind of show how to open these up without damaging them because I don't want to, I don't want to just destroy the case. And, you know, if they're sealed, they're supposed to uh, allow the gases to build up and basically as long as it doesn't overcharge and overpressure, it'll keep the... Uh, the gas is inside the case and then it'll um, keep it from going you know dry as fast as the standard vented caps but uh, online everything I saw was people using like chisels and punches to get into this and uh, you know I'd cut this little sticker away this little sticker here I just cut it off and peeled it back to look get it get at it and um, I'm thinking, okay, how am I going to get that cap out? And literally, without <laughs> any effort at all, um, I'm thinking of, okay, i got to measure it and get a tool or this and that. Um, I was able to just uh, get in here with my fingernail and uh, get underneath the, the uh, plastic part and peel it up, you know? So I'm kind of... I'm happy that I can now actually maintain these batteries, but uh, I'm a little disappointed that uh, it uh, that they make it so difficult, you know. So the standard watering port's not going to fit, you know, like the little jug. It's not going to fit in there. But uh, if you have these, these are made by East Pen, and uh, once we pull this off, we'll be able to pull these off with no problem and check the level and actually maintain the batteries properly. So. I'll post this and I've got some other things. I've got a uh, an onboard uh, battery minder that I'm gonna install. Um, uh, it's the only one that I've seen. So basically it'll desulfate from the uh, alternator when, it's, uh, when you're driving down the road. And then um, I'll be able to install one of these uh, SAE plugs. Um, I've seen another video where they've installed the plug somewhere you know, I'm thinking of mounting a bracket down here and then I'll just be able to plug in my charger when I get to, you know, at the house. I've already got this one for the uh, jump starting and that comes up to the uh, top post of the dual terminals. And then um, I'll probably wire in the, uh, the battery minder, probably put it in here somewhere out of the way and then run a connector down here to the bottom. Uh-oh. All right, guys.